Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, uh, I have a cool idea. I'm gonna go into the toolbox, try to find some sort of like asset pack or a huge kit. So just one free model that has a bunch of stuff in it and try to build a map out of all the stuff in that free model, okay? First idea, hey, let's make a map using only free models. But no, I wanna challenge myself a little more and only be able to use one free model that has more than one asset within it. So I'm gonna look around for that and I'll show you guys what we find. All right. Right, it's time to open up the toolbox. Uh. Boom. All right, let me start searching around. I'm gonna just type in asset pack to get things kicked up. Is this? Okay, I don't even wanna look because this literally looks like it's mine. Like, who's this X-wheel guy? Let me see. Yeah, this is quite literally my stuff. I don't, my bushes, my mushrooms. How did he get them? How did he get my stuff? Okay, it's whatever though. It's, I'm, it's okay. Is this literally another one with, with my assets? Bro, how are my, like, how is my stuff everywhere? Like, I don't get it, bro. Like, they just took the, the, the things off the top of the mushroom. Ugh, I, these aren't mine back here, but, like, how is my stuff everywhere in the toolbox? That doesn't even make sense to me, bro. Dang. All right, I'm gonna just look for something. I'm not even gonna look in asset packs anymore because I'm gonna get depression. This is literally... I don't know if this one's mine. Like, the, it's just... I guess I really popularized this border style. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But the other two were most definitely mine. I'm gonna type in dungeon. But Oh, snap. Low poly dungeon. This... This looks like a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. All right, we got uh, we got some pathways. It looks like you could connect those, make some cool paths. Some ground, nice. Uh, some turns and stuff. A little sewer guy thing. Some steps, nice. Guys, we might make a dungeon. I don't think we're gonna find a better pack than this. Like this is this is a lot. Like there's even weapons. Now I don't know. Uh, I won't be selling this map or anything because I'm not sure if this is actually free or if it's stolen. A lot of the things in the toolbox are stolen, sadly, and that's why I don't recommend using them, uh, especially if you're. Going going to try to sell a map you also shouldn't sell things that are not your personal creation so uh i won't be selling this map or anything but i'll build and wow there's so much stuff there's so much stuff i don't even have like an idea for a dungeon but this is there's just so much do i need like an outside and then an actual dungeon like wow all right all right uh i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna get started and uh i'll just do like some check-ins with you guys all right guys so i've got an idea uh i started kind of assembling this guy a little bit and uh you know it is going all right and i'm gonna move all of this stuff to the side for now okay i think what i want to do is like a fourth of the map so like this corner would be like outside desert themed all right just like dead kind of scary ish type vibe i don't even know so something like this uh, and I'll move this guy in, of course, because we're going to block it off. This is kind of going to be like the barrier. All right. So like players cannot pass this. Uh, we'll sink that into the ground. This guy will kind of rotate him a little bit, something like this and sink him into the ground. Something like that, I think looks pretty dope. And then the tail, we're going to sink. Uh, the, the tail is kind of weird. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I might turn it like 90 degrees. And then a little bit this way to kind of make it like flat-ish. Something like this. And then rotate that guy like uh, control L. Rotate him like this. Something like that, guys. All right. And just have the tail kind of like in the ground. Uh, so people get the point. So this is like the idea. All right. You have a desert guy over here. And we'll like cut this off. And the rest of this will be inside a dungeon. Do I know how I'm going to do this yet? No, not at all, actually. Not even remotely close. But it's the, the main idea is there. All right, guys, so I think I got it. Very small spawn area, okay? You're going to spawn in right here, and you'll have these two options. Oh, Buster, I'm sorry. I forgot to drop... Okay, guys, can you drop a like on the video? Only thing that's going to get Buster to, to kind of quiet down for a little bit. But uh, I'm going to go up both of these ways into, like, a dungeon area, uh, which is probably going to take forever to build. But, uh, we're just sending it. We're sending it. All right, guys, we are back, and, uh, I've got the little tiny spawn area put together. Uh, this is gonna take me a lot longer than I expected, but I think it's gonna be worth it, okay? Well, not really, because I don't know if I can ever actually make this into a game or do anything, because it's a free model, and I don't know if it's a free model or a stolen model. So, yeah, uh... Yikes. But here's the spawn. You basically spawn in here. There will be like invisible walls, of course, like if this ever became a game or anything. So you couldn't go past these guys. But uh, it's looking pretty good. All right. And then you can pick your path, kind of go up into the dungeon. Check it out. Boom. 
your boys creeping all right and then i'm gonna build in a platform up here probably out of these guys and just hope for the best i'm not gonna make it as big as this map because that would take absolutely forever and like i said i'm not gonna be able to reuse this for anything else so that's kind of a bummer as well let's straighten out that tail just a little bit there we go and uh this head i know it doesn't make sense where it is but you also can't see it if it's over there so i might rework that in some sort of way i'm not sure yet but for now it is what it is all right guys here's my progress okay so you, you basically you got you got these two little sets of steps and then you go up them and then there's like you're in a little cave dungeony type thing all right it's not done but it's progress at the very least and uh i think it's looking pretty good i don't know everything i'm gonna do with it yet but i have some cool ideas so this is the update for you i am in the discord server like while i'm building this i'm talking to people on the discord and uh streaming my screen so they're like getting the video before the video's out so if you guys want to join the discord link is down below as well as my patreon which you guys can get like models maps whatever you want you can check out the tiers over there and uh the fan shirt is also down there in the description as well if you want to support your boy but this was this check-in i'll be back uh i'm gonna add some variation in the floor uh fill in these gaps and just try to make it look cooler all right guys progress is ensuing all right uh i'm putting these guys in here which may look a bit weird because they are from the outside so i'm not sure uh whether we're gonna keep them or not but i do think it looks pretty cool overall so let's grab these guys grab them both Control d Control r uh sort of <laughs> sort of worked we're gonna put these like this and uh, maybe move this guy over a little bit, this guy over a little bit, something like this, all right? So, like, here's the idea. I'm going to just spawn in. Let me <laughs> let me make sure everything's anchored. Uh, boom, there we go. I'm going to spawn in and see what we're looking at, okay? This is my second time spawning in, and uh, I'm just, I'm honestly hoping for the best, all right? Here we go. We got our little spawn right here. We got up these little steps. Boom, boom, boom. And then we get into here. Oh, yeah. Look at the patterns, bro. I, I killed it with the patterns. Look at this. And then there will be like a boss right here, maybe. I don't even know. And I know I got to I gotta make all of this dark, okay? So I am going to have to figure out some stuff. I want to think... Okay, let me try something. I have a cool idea. It may or may not work. So I'm going to sink this part in. Uh, drag it to be as big as this. All right. Bring it up just a hair. That's too much, so let's go to point one and drag this down. Um, yeah, this could work. And then I can make this neon, all right? So change it to the same color, make it neon, just like that, and that will give a little bit of glow. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And uh, I could do this with all the parts. So I'm going to do that, build the roof, and then I'll check in. All right, guys, little update. Don't mind the roof. It's a patch job, okay? So check it out. All of these are now neon, including the middle guy right here. I think that looks so sick, especially since it's super dark in here. I've got a bit more work to do to make this a little more presentable and everything like that. I think... I want to run in with some little stuff like this stuff. This all could go in there as like assets. We got these guys creepy like. All right, let me just let me just ungroup this. There we go. And I think I want to use some of this as well. Whoops. Uh, ungroup that. And I think I'm going to put a couple of these things in the brush tool and just see how it goes, honestly. Like we might as well all right guys uh we're back i'm gonna open up this brush tool click to start and let's just say this guy uh this guy all right um this one uh i think these would be kind of cool but i'm not sure i don't know if i'll be able to make that top glow so i'm not gonna grab those just yet um let's see these these are kind of cool i'll grab that one and maybe like some of these weird ugh, ugh those make me cringe like they're gross but yeah, we'll grab some of those too. Um, so we're just going to add all of this to our brush tool. Uh, Unadd the tree real quick. And uh, this this is going to be fun. All right? It's going to be fun. We're going to grab this. We're going to go activate brush. How big is this? That's probably... Yeah, that's a bit massive actually. So our radius is going to get turned down. And our spacing... Uh, yeah, we'll have it like this. And then we have this at random. All right? Scale at random. Up to two. Cool. Wobble. Random up to like five because we don't want to have like things overly bad i did do quite a bit since the last check-in guys so check it out i was mainly working on lighting and everything like that uh and it took longer than i want to admit so 
what I did was I added a point light and a fire into each top of these things. And then this little chandelier over here, uh, every other one has a point light and each of them do have fire. So here's how it overall is looking. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely still a copy and paste vibe though. So I have to work on some randomization, but that's kind of what I'm going to do with this brush tool. Okay. I'm going to just place some stuff kind of around and hope for the best, honestly. Okay. Now people might be being bro. How is grass and mushrooms growing inside of a cave? That does not make sense. Um, this is Roblox, all right? I don't think it has to overly make the most sense. Uh, we're just trying it out here, you know? I'm really just trying to be kind of cool. And it's not exactly working, but I'm giving it my all. So it's all good. We're just adding in some random stuff every, every so often. We can go on the walls a little bit because like, Hey, I mean, why not, right? It's it's Roblox. We're here to power our imaginations and creativity with free models. So we don't actually have to work much at all. Uh, let me go ahead and just put some stuff like all over the walls. This is going to help a lot with that copy and paste vibe because it's never going to be the same stuff getting placed everywhere. So it definitely does help. Grass is definitely being picked quite a bit. <laughs> there we go. That, that guy has like the tentacle arm things. All right. Put these guys over here. Oh, God. We're going to have... <laughs> <laughs> I have to move this one. He's a bit awkward. Uh, just putting this stuff all over the place. Something like that. Boom. And then it can even go out here. So I'm just going to kind of make this line like this. Like that. And like this. All right. There we go. And then just a couple little splotches of randomness. Something like that. Looks pretty good to me. I do think I'm going to get rid of this guy right here. Up next, we're going to hop on in. Test out the game, see how it looks, and then I'm going to think of what else I can add because I am not satisfied with where this build is just yet. So let's hop in. We got some dead stuff out here looking ugh, as usual. And then in here, oh, okay. I think we're getting somewhere, guys. Like this, it's definitely... Oh, gosh. I forgot to anchor these guys. Ew. Gross. Uh, it's definitely getting somewhere. All right. So, like, we're making progress. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, I've made a little bit of progress, you know, kind of, uh, you know, live into the place up. I got these guys hanging, which I think look pretty dang cool. I got this guy sitting over here on the little branch thing. Got this guy down here, like just a bunch of variation, kind of put some people scattered around everywhere. I'm not sure what else I'm going to add. I am having a bit of fun, though, with the inside of this. And maybe it's because I can't build as good as these assets are, but it's definitely fun. And I'd highly recommend you guys like experimenting, not saying I'll be able to turn this into a game of any sort or sell it or profit off it, but it's definitely a good learning experience, like what all you can do, especially with limited resources. Now, uh, this pack is most definitely not the most limited, okay? Like there's so much stuff that I haven't even touched yet, which is insane. And, uh... I don't know. I feel like I could build 10 more maps with this pack that would look 100% different than the one I have right now. So, I mean, so much stuff I haven't even gotten to use yet. But I think I'm going to put this guy in and then I'm going to call it, okay? Like, let's see. We could put this guy like... Oh, wait. What is this? This is like a little switch. Please tell me there's like a pedestal thing, bro. This could be pretty sick. Um, I want like a bit of a curve on the top. I'll use this. This, like, no, wait, this, no, dang, I'm so indecisive, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use this guy, all right, this CV, and I'm gonna take it into here, and I'm gonna make this sort of like a power button, in a way, uh, now, <laughs> it's not exactly gonna be a power button, because, uh, you know, flames are not electric, <laughs> by no means, <laughs> but it is what it is, so, we're gonna make this guy up, uh, I might put on some particles on it or something. I don't know. Not right now, but check it out. Now we have a little power button in here as well. Let me get like a nice little view. Here's the map, guys. All right. Uh, I don't really know how long I've been building this for. Uh, it, probably too long, to be fair, but I didn't really have an idea at the start. But here it is. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.